Welcome back everyone to Chilling with Chili Seed and today I'm going to do a sauce review. Um, I'm doing Pat and Pinky's Dark and Stormy Pepper Sauce that I picked up at the Hot Sauce Society Christmas time. Yeah, remember that Hot Sauce Society I went to, met Pat there and I picked this sauce up there. Actually he gave me this sauce so thank you very very much Pat for giving me this sauce. So I love the bottles. He has these squat nice chunky bottles and this one is a let me have a 250 ml bottle so it's a good size yeah and a nice chunky bottle so a dark and stormy pepper sauce vegan pat and pink is taste of guyana so let's have a quick look at the bottle a simple label there we go and the sauce itself i mean have a look at that it's so thick and so rich full of ingredients and of course full of taste yeah, so it's going to be really, really good. Now, let's have a quick look. Keep in a cool, dry place. Once open, refrigerate, consume within six weeks. Not going to happen, is it really? Especially now that everybody's at home. Um, great as a marinade for veg, fish, meat, meats. A cooking ingredient. You can use it in cooking and you can uh, use it as a condiment. Shake well before use. So that's our general things there. Ingredients, let's have a look. Now, looking at the bottle itself, it's a nice brown sauce lots and lots of bits i don't know if you can see there lots of bits in there look at that look how it pours it doesn't separate it's really rich so um here we go ingredients what have we got water cucumber now the taste of guyana is cucumber cucumber goes in everything and adds the freshness of the sauce so cucumber onion orange juice rum so there's eight percent rum in this one um tomato paste so the tomato paste, it's got tomato paste and salt, peppers, lime juice, spring onion, ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet, of which is 2%, salt, cider vinegar, paprika, Guyanese thyme, dark brown sugar, thyme, coriander, citric acid, cornflour and cloves. Now, I haven't actually seen cloves in a sauce, but looking at these ingredients, you have got... Um, your scotch bonnet, which is 2%, which will add to the heat. You've got a bit of ginger in there that will probably add to the heat. And the cloves, because cloves have got their own heat, haven't they? They're sort of different. Now, I think, and, and the bits in here, you've got your coriander, your thyme, your cloves, all of it in there. Oh, my God. It's just, it's, it's like a cooking sauce. It's really thick. It's like a cooking sauce. Nothing for it. You know what? You just need to get into it. Mm. Just fight my way through it. Okay. Oh, actually, it's got a little plug in there, so I'm just okay. Wow. It. I can't take smell the scotch bonnet straight out. Herbs, ginger, garlic, limey, and it's. But it smells sweet because the brown sugar's gone in there and it's like it smells caramelized almost with the onions and that so you know what i'm just gonna have to go in there's lots of ingredients in this one so the taste okay let's check this out see if i can do this here Yay! whoa look at that pour it's thick but it pours really nicely doesn't it check it out now i don't know if you can see that underneath and inside lots of bits lots of ingredients in that one and doesn't separate in the bottle look it's beautiful there's a hint of cucumber coming in now sometimes when you when you take the aroma from the bottle you get certain um, sort of aromas if you put it on the spoon you can pick up a few more so it again cucumbery oniony limey sweet so it almost smells caramelized and now just let me quickly check it's vegan but it doesn't say heat value on this one so um it might just be you know it's only got two percent scotch bonnets so hot sauces when people make hot sauces there may be more flavoursome sauces with a hint of chilli to it and that's still a hot sauce but then there are the extremes it goes up i think this is more of a flavoursome sauce less talking down the hatch thank you pat Mm. right it's not warm at all it's got a, i can take i can have a hint of cloves in there the cloves come in 
garlicky, gingery onion. It's really nice. It's um, and there's a freshness. The cucumber comes in. It's different. Having cucumber in the sauce is something that I last time I tried pat sauces cucumber was something different, and that difference still comes comes out. So cucumber's coming through. Uh, you've got a hint of rum coming through. You've got the ginger, the garlic, the bits in there. It's nice consistency in your mouth. It's nice consistency, and the heat you get is. I can't detect this from the chilies, but there is a warmthness in it. Not overpowering your heart, so a ginger cloves could have contrib contributed to it. And I think this one can be for anybody. So anybody, if you're a chili head, you can eat it. If you like flavour some sauces for some chili heads, just want heat, yeah. But if you don't eat chilies at all, this is really good. You can start on this one, a small flavour. It's got a hint of freshness from the cucumber coming in. And as it said on the bottle, you just have a quick check. As I said on the bottle here, um, you can, because of the, it's, let me just, uh, if we had lime juice and, what did we have vinegar in this? Yeah, vinegar. Lime juice and vinegar, so the pH is quite low in this one. Um, and it's not overpoweringly vinegar, you can taste more lime juice and vinegar. So it's a flavoured um, tang. So because the pH is kind of low, you can use it as a marinade. So it says here, marinade for veg and uh, for veg fish and meat so you can marinate your veg fish and meat so this time of year it's great because you've got your freshness on the cucumber your limes your coriander ginger garlic ph is low you can marinate it barbecue with it so it'll be great it'll give it a nice color to your marinade so it, to your meats so, you know etc and you can probably drizzle this in things like tacos and mexican food as well because it's got the freshness but the tang as well um sometimes you don't want when you've got your nachos not everybody wants the heat so you you've got your guacamole you can have pat and pinky dark pepper sauce you've got a hint of rum to that one which is nice bit of a kick um mm, nice and I, i'd say there's a sweetness to it as well because the brown sugar coming in it's you know i'm still finding bits in my mouth so another good source of pattern pinkies you know you've got to try this one yeah so if you don't eat hot food this is the one for you you know what to do now yeah so if you like um dark and stormy pepper sauce or any other pattern pinkies then you know what to do guys order 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 like subscribe and you know stay at home stay safe fear the virus but don't fear the reaper thank you very much for watching